Today, I want to share with you some of the most profound life advice that has the power to transform your entire existence. Because what I'm about to share may leave you speechless. You see, every word we speak, every thought we think, holds immense power. The universe listens to our every word and thought, responding to them with unwavering precision. It's as if our thoughts and words are spells, casting a ripple effect across the fabric of reality. Think about it. How many times have you found yourself almost reaching something wonderful, only to have it slip away at the last moment? If you reflect on those moments, you'll realize that your mental atmosphere played a crucial role. Negative thoughts act as barriers against the manifestation of our desires. When we say, I don't want to be sick anymore, we're inadvertently affirming sickness. Instead, we must clearly state what we do want. I accept perfect health now sets the stage for healing to occur. Affirmations are like magic spells we cast on our own lives. They're powerful tools that help us shape the reality we want to live in. When we use affirmations, we're basically saying, hey, I choose to focus on the good stuff. Imagine your mind as a garden. Negative thoughts are like weeds that can choke out the beautiful flowers, but affirmations are like little packets of seeds that we plant intentionally. When we repeat affirmations, it's like watering those seeds and helping them grow into something wonderful. Let's break it down. Negative thoughts are like little rain clouds that hover over us, blocking out the sunshine. They tell us things like, you're not good enough, or you'll never succeed. But affirmations are like rays of sunshine breaking through those clouds. They remind us of our worth and potential. When we repeat affirmations, we're literally rewiring our brains. We're training ourselves to focus on the positive instead of dwelling on the negative. And guess what? Our brains love patterns. So the more we repeat those positive affirmations, the more our brains start to believe them. But here's the thing. Affirmations aren't just about wishful thinking. They're about taking action. When we affirm something, we're not just hoping it'll magically appear out of thin air. We're setting an intention and aligning our thoughts and actions to make it happen. Let's say you want to attract more abundance into your life. Instead of focusing on lack and scarcity, you might repeat affirmations like, I am abundant, or money flows to me effortlessly. By doing this, you're creating a mindset of abundance and openness to receive. Affirmations also help us stay grounded and focused on our goals. They act as guideposts, reminding us of what we're working towards. So when obstacles pop up along the way, we can stay centered and keep moving forward with confidence. But it's not just about affirmations. It's about cultivating a happy mental atmosphere. When we harbor bitterness, resentment, or blame, we create a breeding ground for misery. Instead, we must shift our focus to gratitude, love, and appreciation. Blame is just another negative affirmation, a waste of our precious thoughts. Instead of dwelling on problems, we must focus on solutions. Repeat to yourself, all is well. Everything is working out for my highest good. I am safe. Watch as miracles unfold before your eyes. Now here's a crucial piece of advice. Guard your thoughts and affirmations like treasures. In the early stages of your journey, it's best to keep them to yourself until you've manifested your desired results. Then, watch as friends marvel at the transformation in your life. Think of manifestation like learning to ride a bike. At first, it might feel wobbly and uncertain. You might even fall down a few times. But with practice, you start to find your balance. You pedal a little smoother, steer a little straighter, before you know it, you're riding confidently down the street, wind in your hair, feeling free and unstoppable. The same goes for manifesting your desires. It's a skill that you can develop over time. 
Sure, it might feel awkward at first, like trying to juggle while riding that bike, but with each practice session, you get a little better. You start to understand the nuances, the little tweaks you can make to get closer to what you want. Practice is like flexing a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. So don't be discouraged if things don't happen overnight. Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither is your manifestation mastery. Take it one step at a time. Start with small manifestations, like finding a parking spot or receiving a compliment from a friend. Celebrate these little wins along the way. They're like breadcrumbs leading you towards your bigger goals. And don't forget about consistency, just like going to the gym. You have to show up regularly to see results. Set aside time each day to practice manifestation techniques, whether it's visualization, affirmations, or gratitude journaling. Make it a habit. Remember, there's no one size fits all approach to manifestation. Find what works best for you and stick with it. Some people swear by vision boards, while others prefer meditation or scripting. Experiment with different techniques until you find the ones that resonate with you. Every thought counts. So when you catch yourself entertaining a negative thought, gently redirect it. Say to yourself, this is an old thought. I no longer choose to think that way. Then replace it with a positive affirmation as quickly as you can. Let's dive into the topic of health. Our bodies are amazing vessels that can do remarkable things, like healing themselves when they're in the right conditions. When we fill ourselves with love, appreciation, and positive thoughts, it's like creating a peaceful atmosphere inside us, which helps our cells stay healthy and happy. Think of your body as a cozy home for trillions of tiny cells. These cells work tirelessly to keep you healthy and functioning well. But just like any home, they need the right environment to thrive. When we fill ourselves with negativity, stress, and unhealthy habits, it's like turning our home into a chaotic, unhappy place. This can make it harder for our cells to do their job properly. On the other hand, when we surround ourselves with love, gratitude, and positivity. It's like creating a serene sanctuary for our cells to live in. They can work more efficiently and effectively, helping to keep us in good health. Love is like a warm hug for our cells. When we love ourselves and our bodies, it sends a powerful message to every cell, letting them know that they are valued and cared for. This boosts their morale and strengthens their resolve to keep us healthy. Appreciation is like a pat on the back for our cells. When we appreciate the amazing things our bodies can do, it motivates our cells to keep up the good work. It's like giving them a little extra encouragement to go above and beyond for us. Positive thoughts are like rays of sunshine for our cells. When we fill our minds with positivity and optimism, it brightens the outlook for our cells too. They feel uplifted and energized, ready to tackle any challenges that come their way. Treat your body with the love and care you would give to a cherished friend. Speak to it kindly, nourish it with wholesome foods, and engage in joyful movement. Your body listens to every word and responds accordingly. Your body is a mirror of your inner thoughts and beliefs. If you want to cultivate vibrant health, start by changing your mindset. Embrace thoughts of vitality and well-being and watch as your body follows suit. Life is not a series of random events, but a journey of awakening. Each day presents an opportunity for growth and transformation. Embrace change, for it is the catalyst for your evolution. You hold the power to create the life of your dreams. By harnessing the magic of positive thinking and affirmations, you can manifest miracles beyond your wildest imagination. Embrace this power, for it is your birthright. Yet often overlooked, we've been conditioned to believe in limitations, to doubt ourselves, and to seek validation from external sources. But what if I told you that everything you seek 
everything you desire lies within you. In our world, there are lots of messages that make us feel scared, guilty, and not good enough. They come from everywhere, TV, social media, even people around us. They tell us we're not smart enough, not pretty enough, not successful enough, but guess what? They're all wrong. We're taught to look at ourselves and find flaws. We compare ourselves to others, thinking they're better than us. But that's not true. Each of us is unique and special in our own way. We don't have to be like anyone else. We just have to be ourselves. When we believe these lies, it holds us back from being our best selves. We start to doubt ourselves and we don't reach for our dreams. But we don't have to listen to those voices. We can choose to believe in ourselves instead. Look in the mirror, my dear friend. Look deeply into your own eyes. What do you see? Do you see someone who is flawed, someone who is unworthy, or do you see the radiant being of light that you truly are? You are like a superhero with the power to change your life for the better, and you don't have to wait for tomorrow or next week to start. You can begin right now with something as simple as loving yourself. Self-love is like giving yourself a big hug from the inside out. It means treating yourself with kindness and compassion, just like you would a good friend. When you love yourself, you open the door to all sorts of amazing possibilities. One way to practice self-love is through affirmations. These are like little messages of love and encouragement that you repeat to yourself every day. They might sound something like, I am worthy of love and happiness, or I believe in myself and my abilities. Affirmations might seem small, but they're actually super powerful. They work by rewiring your brain and helping you see yourself in a more positive light. Instead of focusing on your flaws or mistakes, you start to focus on your strengths and potential. Think of it like planting seeds in a garden. With each affirmation, you're planting a seed of positivity in your mind. And as you nurture those seeds with love and care, they start to grow and bloom into beautiful flowers of self-confidence and self-belief. Feeling guilty or ashamed is like carrying around a heavy backpack full of rocks. It weighs you down and stops you from moving forward. But guess what? You don't have to carry that burden anymore. You have the power to let it go. Guilt and shame might try to tell you that you're not good enough, that you've done something wrong. But here's the truth. Holding on to these feelings serves no purpose. They only keep you stuck in the past, unable to see the bright future that awaits you. It's time to release those burdens and set yourself free. Take a deep breath and remind yourself that you are human. You're not perfect and that's okay. We all make mistakes. It's a part of being alive. Forgiving yourself is like giving yourself a big hug from the inside. It's saying, I know you're trying your best and that's enough. So go ahead, close your eyes and imagine all that guilt and shame melting away, leaving behind a sense of peace and lightness. Every moment is a chance to start anew. It's like pressing the reset button on your life, wiping the slate clean and beginning afresh. So don't waste another second dwelling on the past. Instead, focus on the present moment and all the possibilities it holds. You have a special power inside you, the power to decide what is okay for you and what isn't. That's setting boundaries. It's like drawing a line around yourself to protect your feelings and needs. And guess what? It's totally okay to do that. Sometimes we might feel like we have to say yes to everything people ask of us, but that's not true. You have the right to say no if something doesn't feel right for you. You have the right to protect your space, your time, and your emotions. Speaking your truth means being honest about how you feel and what you need. It's about expressing yourself in a kind and gentle way, even if it's difficult. Your truth matters, and it deserves to be heard. But here's the thing, you don't have to please others or fit into their idea of who you should be. You are not here to live up to anyone else's expectations. You are here to be you, to embrace your quirks, your passions, and your dreams. You know, sometimes we look at ourselves and think we're not good enough. We see things we don't like, things we wish were different. But guess what? Those things that we think are flaws, they're actually what make us who we are. Think about it like this. Imagine if everyone looked the same, acted the same, and thought the same. It would be pretty boring, right? Our differences are what make life interesting. They're what make us special. So instead of trying to hide or change those things we don't like about ourselves, why not embrace them? Embrace the quirks, 
the imperfections, the little things that make you uniquely you. Because when you do, you shine like a bright star in the sky. You see, it's those perceived flaws that make us beautifully human. They're what connect us to each other and remind us that we're all in this together. And when we celebrate our uniqueness, we give others permission to do the same. Self-love is not selfish. It is essential. Take the time to nourish your body, mind, and spirit. Surround yourself with people who uplift and inspire you and let go of anything or anyone that no longer serves your highest good. Cultivating an attitude of gratitude is like planting seeds of happiness in your heart. It means being thankful for all the good things in your life, big and small. Maybe it's the sunshine warming your face, the laughter of a loved one, or even just a cozy bed to sleep in at night. When you focus on what you're grateful for, you start to see the world in a brighter light. Imagine the universe as your loving friend, always looking out for you. It's like having a secret ally who wants nothing but the best for you. This universe, it's not against you. It's on your side, cheering you on every step of the way. Even when things seem tough, there's a hidden magic at work, gently nudging you towards greater happiness. Think about it. Every sunrise, every flower blooming, every moment of laughter, they're all little reminders that the universe is conspiring in your favor. It's sending you love notes in the form of sunsets and starry skies, whispering, you are loved, you are worthy, and you are deserving of all the good things life has to offer. When you embrace this truth, something magical happens. You start to attract more love, joy, and abundance into your life. It's like a magnet pulling in all the wonderful things you've been dreaming of. Suddenly, opportunities seem to appear out of nowhere and blessings flow to you effortlessly. But cultivating gratitude isn't just about receiving, it's also about giving. When you're grateful for what you have, you naturally want to share that abundance with others. You become a beacon of light, radiating love and kindness wherever you go. And as you give, you receive even more in return creating a beautiful cycle of abundance. So the truth has been revealed to you. You are powerful beyond measure, and you are worthy of all the blessings that life has to offer. Embrace this truth, embody it, and watch as miracles unfold in your life. Our subconscious mind is like a vast ocean, carrying the dreams, desires, and beliefs that shape our reality. But often it's cluttered with negative thoughts and limiting beliefs that hold us back from experiencing the fullness of life. It's time to clear away the debris and plant the seeds of abundance and joy. Just as a gardener tends to her garden, we must tend to the garden of our minds. We must uproot the weeds of doubt and fear and cultivate the fertile soil of love and possibility. But how do we do this? The answer lies in the power of affirmations. Imagine affirmations as little seeds that we plant in the garden of our minds. Each time we repeat them, it's like we're watering those seeds, helping them to grow stronger and bigger. And just like real seeds, if we give them the right conditions, they'll eventually sprout into something beautiful. But here's the secret. The way we talk to ourselves matters a lot. It's like the special fertilizer that helps those seeds grow faster and stronger. That's why it's important to use the right language when we're doing affirmations. Instead of saying, I will be happy, we should say, I am happy. See the difference? By using the present tense, we're telling our minds that our desires have already come true. It's like we're tricking our brains into believing that what we want is already here. And you know what? Our brains are pretty gullible. They'll believe whatever we tell them. So if we keep telling ourselves that we're happy and successful, eventually we'll start to feel that way for real. It's all about creating a positive mindset. When we speak in the present tense, we're sending a powerful message to our subconscious minds. We're telling them that we deserve to have our dreams come true right now, in this moment. And you know what else? Our subconscious minds are like little helpers, always working behind the scenes to make our dreams a reality. So, when we give them the right instructions, like using affirmations in the present tense, they'll do everything they can to make sure those dreams come true. But here's the thing. 
just like real seeds, affirmations need time to grow. We can't expect them to sprout overnight. We have to be patient and keep watering them with our words and thoughts. Imagine you're telling the universe what you want. You're sending out a message, like sending a letter in the mail. But here's the thing, the universe is a really good listener. It pays attention to every word you say and every thought you think. So instead of saying things like, I will have, or I'm going to, try saying, I am grateful for, or I have. See the difference? When you use words like grateful and have, you're telling the universe that you already have what you want. You're acting as if it's already true. And you know what? The universe is pretty good at taking hints. It hears what you're saying and starts working to make it happen. It's like having a magical genie granting your wishes, but instead of rubbing a lamp, you're just using your words and thoughts. Now here's where things get really exciting. When you affirm your desires with unwavering faith and gratitude, you're sending out a powerful energy into the universe. It's like you're saying, I believe this with all my heart and I'm so thankful for it. And you know what? The universe loves that kind of energy. It eats it up like candy. You know, it's not just about the words we use, it's also about how we feel inside. Our feelings are like powerful magnets, pulling in all sorts of experiences into our lives. So if we're feeling happy and positive, we'll attract more of those good vibes. Imagine your emotions as little signals that you're sending out into the universe. When you're feeling joyful and grateful, you're sending out a signal that says, hey, I want more of this. And you know what? The universe listens. That's why it's so important to keep our mental atmosphere filled with joy and positivity. It's like creating a cozy little nest for all the good things to come and cuddle up in. So, no matter what's going on around you, try to find something to be thankful for and hold on to that feeling tight. Even when things get tough, and believe me, they will, try to see the silver lining. Maybe it's a beautiful sunset or a kind word from a friend. Whatever it is, hold on to it like a precious gem and let it fill your heart with warmth. Let's have a little chat about staying healthy. Our bodies are like precious gifts, you know. They carry us through life, helping us experience all the wonderful things it has to offer. That's why it's so important to treat them with kindness and care. Think of your body like a special treasure chest. It holds all your hopes, dreams, and adventures. Without it, you wouldn't be able to dance, laugh, or hug your loved ones. So, isn't it worth cherishing? Sometimes, though, we can be really hard on ourselves. We look in the mirror and see things we don't like. Maybe a little extra weight here or a blemish there. But you know what? Those things don't define us. They're just a small part of who we are. Instead of focusing on what we perceive as flaws, let's turn our attention to all the amazing things our bodies can do. Think about how they breathe, move, and heal themselves. Isn't that incredible? So let's make a promise to ourselves, a promise to treat our bodies with love and appreciation. Let's thank them for all the hard work they do, day in and day out. Whether it's walking, talking, or even just taking a deep breath, our bodies are always there for us. Our bodies are really smart. They listen to what we think and believe. Isn't that amazing? So if we think about being healthy and full of energy, our bodies will feel that way too. It's like magic. That's why it's super important to think positive thoughts about our health. Imagine if you had a little friend inside you, always listening to what you say. Well, guess what? You do. It's every single cell in your body. They pay attention to the thoughts buzzing around in your head. So let's make sure those thoughts are good ones. Let's fill our minds with thoughts of feeling strong and alive. When we do that, our bodies get the message loud and clear. They start working to keep us healthy and vibrant. But it's not just about what we think. It's also about how we talk to ourselves. Imagine if you had a friend who was always criticizing you and saying mean things. Would you want to hang out with them? Probably not. 
Well, our bodies are like our best friends. They're always there for us, no matter what. So let's treat them with kindness and compassion. Let's speak to our bodies in a loving way, just like we would to a cherished friend. When we treat our bodies with love and respect, something amazing happens. They become even better at taking care of us. It's like they're saying, thanks for being so nice to us. We'll make sure to keep you feeling great. You are the master of your destiny. You have the power to reprogram your subconscious mind and manifest your dream future. With love as your guide and affirmations as your tools, you can create a life of abundance, joy, and fulfillment. So I invite you to join me on this journey of self-discovery and transformation. Together, let us unlock the infinite potential that lies within us and manifest our deepest desires. With love and gratitude, I bid you farewell. Just as you are. I want you to stand in front of the mirror and look into your own eyes. Say to yourself, I love you. It might feel strange at first, but trust me, the more you say it, the more you'll believe it. You see, darling, self-love is like planting seeds in a garden. At first, you may not see anything sprouting, but with time and care, those seeds will grow into beautiful flowers. Similarly, when you practice self-love, you're nurturing your inner garden, allowing love and positivity to bloom within you. I know it can be tough, especially if you've spent a long time being hard on yourself, but it's time to change that narrative. You deserve all the love and happiness in the world, and it starts with loving yourself. So take a moment to appreciate yourself, celebrate your strengths, and acknowledge your accomplishments, no matter how small they may seem. Treat yourself with kindness and compassion, just as you would a dear friend. Self-love isn't about being perfect or having it all together. It's about accepting yourself, flaws and all, and embracing your uniqueness. You are a one-of-a-kind masterpiece, my dear, and you deserve to be loved for exactly who you are. Let's take a closer look at the second struggle, forgiveness. You see, holding on to anger and resentment is like carrying a heavy bag of rocks everywhere you go. It weighs you down and makes it hard to move forward. But guess what? You have the power to lighten that load and set yourself free. Imagine forgiveness as a magical key that unlocks the chains of anger and resentment. When you forgive, you're not letting the other person off the hook. You're setting yourself free. Free from the pain and hurt that's been holding you back. Free to live your life with peace and joy. So my dear, it's time to let go. It's time to release the grip of anger and resentment and embrace the healing power of forgiveness. And it starts with you. First, forgive yourself. We all make mistakes, darling. It's part of being human. So be kind to yourself and let go of any guilt or shame you may be carrying. Next, forgive others. Yes, even those who have hurt you deeply. I know it's not easy, but holding on to anger towards them only hurts you in the end. So choose to release that anger and let go of the past. It doesn't mean you're condoning their actions. It simply means you're choosing peace over pain. Take a deep breath and say it with me now. I forgive myself and I forgive others. Feel the weight lift off your shoulders as you speak those words. You're choosing to let go of the past and embrace the freedom that comes with forgiveness. Forgiveness is not a one-time thing. It's a process and it takes time. So be patient with yourself as you navigate this journey of healing. Surround yourself with love and support and know that you're not alone. Let's take a closer look at the third struggle, negative self-talk. We've all experienced it right? Those annoying little voices in our heads that constantly criticize and put us down. They tell us we're not good enough, smart enough, or worthy enough. But guess what? It's time to show them who's boss. Imagine those negative thoughts 
as pesky little bugs buzzing around your head, well, it's time to swat them away. Replace those harmful thoughts with positive affirmations. Instead of saying, I can't do it, say to yourself, I am capable and deserving of all good things. Repeat it like a mantra until it sinks in. You see, darling, your thoughts have power. They shape your reality and influence how you perceive yourself and the world around you. So it's crucial to choose your thoughts wisely. Would you rather fill your mind with negativity and self-doubt or with positivity and self-love? I know which one I'd choose, and I hope you do too. So the next time you catch yourself engaging in negative self-talk, stop and take a deep breath. Challenge those thoughts and replace them with affirmations that uplift and empower you. Let's take a deeper look into the fourth struggle, which is all about healing the inner child. You see, inside each and every one of us, there's a little child who's been hurt and is yearning for love and acceptance. This child might have felt neglected, misunderstood, or even abandoned at times. But here's the thing, darling. It's time to give that precious child the love and care they deserve. It's time to wrap them up in a warm embrace and let them know that they are cherished just as they are. You have the power to be that loving parent to your inner child. Imagine your inner child standing before you, looking up with hopeful eyes. What would you say to them? Would you tell them they're not good enough or would you shower them with love and encouragement? I know what I would choose and I hope you do too. Embrace every part of yourself, even the parts you may have pushed away or rejected in the past. Those parts are just as deserving of love and acceptance as any other. Take a moment to look in the mirror and say to yourself, I love and accept you just as you are. Feel the warmth of those words wash over you like a gentle breeze on a summer day. You are worthy of love, my dear, simply because you exist. You might find it helpful to engage in activities that reconnect you with your inner child. Maybe it's coloring, playing with toys, or simply spending time in nature. Whatever brings you joy and makes you feel alive, do more of that. Let's really dive into the fifth struggle, which is all about learning to let go of the past. When we hold on to old hurts and regrets, it's like we're carrying around a heavy backpack full of stones. It weighs us down and stops us from moving forward. But guess what? Your future is like a blank canvas waiting for your beautiful brush strokes. Imagine if you're driving a car and you keep looking in the rearview mirror. You won't see what's ahead of you, and you might even crash. It's the same with life. If we're always focused on what happened before, we'll miss out on the wonderful opportunities waiting for us in the future. So it's time to release those old tapes playing in your mind. You know, the ones that keep replaying the same negative thoughts and memories over and over again. It's time to hit the stop button and rewrite your story. Say it with me loud and clear. I release the past and embrace the present moment. Feel the weight lift off your shoulders as you let go of those old burdens. You're making space for new experiences, new joys, and new possibilities. You might be thinking, but it's not that easy to let go of the past. And you know what? You're absolutely right. It's not always easy, but it is possible. It starts with a decision, a decision to no longer let the past dictate your present or your future. One powerful tool you can use is forgiveness. Forgive yourself for any mistakes you've made and forgive others who may have hurt you. Holding on to grudges only poisons your own well-being. By forgiving, you're setting yourself free from the chains of resentment. You have the power within you to overcome any struggle that comes your way. Trust in yourself, love yourself, and know that you are worthy of all the blessings the universe has to offer. You will make it through.